How's it going guys and welcome back and as you guys can see today I'm gonna to be playing Atomic Heart. Now I have no idea what this game is really about. All I know is that I guess there's robots in here and that that's basically all I know. So yeah I haven't really seen any trailers and all that so I really I don't know what to expect but here we go. Well what is this? Oh, I think there's difficulty. Uh, local fairly Armageddon. Okay, do you like uh, overcome difficulties? That's admirable. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I would do this. You know what? I want to play this on hard. So, I think I'm about to choose Armageddon. I'm hoping... Yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely hoping I don't regret this. Maybe you can change it later on. But I'm just going to go with Armageddon for now. So here we go. Oh, accept. What? I really love this place. It starts just like this. Good vibes. Whoa, what is that? Built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Wait, is my glove talking? <laughs> what? Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> cool. Chelemay City floats on the Where's that? platform. It's a robot. Modern science and technology. Oh my god. This I think it's an android. Cloud was built in 1950. 1950? My god, that's a long time ago. All the other Soviet republics live here, including oh the German SSR. German SSR? an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Well, it is an android. Cool. So are we, are we Russian? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, comrade. Oh, uh... Sure. Sure, thanks. Oh, thank you, robot. Oh, why did I flick my camera straight up? <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing we're just gonna go all the way down. Like over there. Stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Why in the world? Yeah, I noticed. Wow. There's actually. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Wow, oh, look at that thing. Is that pig? That pig's ginormous. Look at it. Look at it waddle around. Is this our stop? up with your Vovas box, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Oh, the robots are all the fighting. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Thanks. So I'm guessing oh, anyone thanks, can just use robots. Zero four five one. Okay then. Get to work, you bums. Wow, bums. That's not cool. Oh, you did it. Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Well, you know, if these robots, uh, I guess, start trying to kill us, I think I have a good reason why. We don't respect them at all. <laughs> good morning, my boy. Oh, this is. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Doctor Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Oh, really? To the to How so? Your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. All right, so how long am I going to be on this ride for? Oh, I'm going to robot juggling. You know, at least so far it's pretty peaceful. Comrade Major, there is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you. All right, well, it looks like this is our stop. It's about time. Cool looking boat, though. Whoa. Oh my god, I can finally move on. Icarus platform residents and facility guests. Okay. You know, I want to go see this robot juggle. Oh, look at it. 
Hey, that bot nice. sounds pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. <laughs> okay. Now, before I do anything else, uh, let me check settings. Okay, there we go. I turned off motion blur. Motion blur, you know, always has to get turned off because I just don't like it. Oh, can I talk to you? Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Uh, I feel like I'm close like enough. A device. It's high time you got one. No, a thanks, thought device? Browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? Uh, I sure am. Say, I thought yeah, these devices yeah. weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuro connector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight. But it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Uh, okay. Alright then. Alright then. What? What's everything? Uh, can I choose what color I want? No, I don't, I don't want pink. Please don't let me get pink. Oh, no. Can I get a different color? Oh my god, what is this? What's happening? So, can I, like, talk to him telepathically now? Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Wow, so you gave me a dud. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. All right, so... Hey, you. Experimental glove. Oh. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead. Oh Since my god, so look at that. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles. The chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like. Glove. Wow. Glove. They should give it a name. Alright, um... So I'm guessing... Oh, so this is gonna be the same. Okay. What's over here? Attention, comrades! Listen up! Tickets are now available for a new performance. I feel like my sensitivity's dry. It moves kind of quick. I don't get these robots. All right, you know, let's get let's get a movie. I think it's time for us to go to the main mission, our main objective. Go around the crowd. Oh, what's happening over here? Oh, it's a parade. Hmm, okay. Oh my god. Who are you? Assemble near the Brown Plague Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. You robot lady, you look kinda creepy. Wait a minute, her eyes follow. Oh my god. Okay, so Everyone man, I gotta walk around. So happy and I gotta walk. Super far. Just like in China. You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. <laughs> okay. The facility 26 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed, it is. You said to tell me all these robots are gonna try killing us. I don't know why. Oh, it's a memorial. Slow down, son. Slow down. Okay, what is this? Oh, uh, Comrade Sachinov? Oh, man, I can't pronounce Russian names. I uh, developed the polymer. Oh, wait, wait, I was. Let me look away. Oh, please, come on. I uh, developed the polymers, a scientific miracle that determines the future or well, future course of human civil civilization in the Soviet Union and abroad. Okay, okay. What is this one? Oh, that's a lot. A pivotal moment in history of the science and technology, the greatest minds in the Soviet Union, all, all of them outstanding scientists, including comrades 
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I cannot pronounce names. Uh, Join forces forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for astonishing scientific and technological advancements in the USSR and beyond. All right. All right. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Oh, man, there's so much... So much, um... Wait, I think it's the thing, isn't it? What is this? Uh, a World War State sponsored program of uh, industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. Pride Soviet Science is created, or the Pride of Soviet Science created uh, facility 3026, the apex scientific progress and the home of the greatest scientific, oh, it's all not scientific, scientists in the world. Okay, okay. Um, I don't really want to read all this, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, if you guys want to read that, there you go. And. Ah, this one's a little short. Uh, in the world of scientific breakthrough, the Soviet Union, Soviet Union cos cosmonaut Yuri the Garden is the first man to fly into space. Fly into space? Oh my god, that sounds cool. Is there a way I could run? Wait, what is going on over here? Wow. Stars. Cuckoo. All right, let's, let's get going. Why are you putting me down? Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places. <laughs> wow. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn That's actually really cool. Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me. Of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your eminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Oh, this thing. I uh, don't mind if I do. I like the music here. It's, the new sounds really nice. Ooh. Man, but that, that would be so cool. Imagine you can just learn whatever you want just by, I guess, injecting yourself with that. Kind of weird how that works. Whoa. So, I'm guessing I learned something. Oh, I just tossed it over. At least throw in the garbage. On trash can. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, okay. bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <gasps> Spanish Inquisition? I talked to a scanner hold. Bumper, bumper. Like that? What? So, use the scanner. So, one way. I'm gonna try to scan. Hmm. I don't really know what I'm trying to scan. Am I doing it wrong? Uh, ah. 
Hey lady, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Again. <laughs> Am I, I'm doing it wrong. Am I? There's no way I'm doing it. It says bumper and bumper. Demon oh, it worked now. What? <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. You know, this does seem really cool. So now nothing can hide from me. Oops. Wow. Cool. Oh, it's going over here. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get going. What's happening there? Oh my god. Cool. Right, open up. Wow. Address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. That Sergeant is a lot of robots. I'll get all these. Getting everything. Wait, what's up with that one? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Oh, wow. Who's saying that? Oh, it's that guy. Wow, this is so cool. Look at all this. Wow. So, what did they develop that they're celebrating? Cause the, the robot lady said something, but... Yeah, I, I wasn't really paying attention. Wow, cool. No, I'm not exaggerating. Report to the lobby of that high-rise comment, Major. They're waiting for him. Alright, alright. Can I drive a car? Hmm, I can't. Man, these are some old cars. Process of genetic adaption. It has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. Oh, okay, so it's just a network and a network to develop. So glad to see you're taking it easy. Comrade Major, the car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. All right, all right. One of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. Whoa, this, this place is huge. What is all this? Hmm. I love this place. Interesting. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. It does look pretty cool. What is this? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm supposed to be going. Can I just sit down? Uh, <laughs> that, that is the way, right? I think it is. Ah, oh, look at that. Re oh, wow. Cool. Am I supposed to be in here? Oh, it's moving. What in the world? It's an elevator? I mean, somebody tells me this can corrupt the mind. Oh. Tiny injector of neuropolymer. In five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Yeah, something definitely is gonna happen. Join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0. Alright, well that's cool, no. Bye you. I, I'm gonna be going. Oh. Open up. Who's in here? 
Talk about style. Science oh my god. Power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here's Whoa. your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have yeah, You robot ladies are very, very polished. The same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Why do you do that? Is that turbine? Is that it? I leave? Stop doing that! It's... You get... I can't get through? No. Alright, well I'll see you guys later because you guys are making me feel some type of way. Wow, I came up there for a key just like that? Alright, then I guess I'll head down. Ah, this is gonna be another long ride. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Didn't I just get a new glove? So I'm getting another one already? Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna go in my other hand. Oh my gosh, look at these flags. Alright, well, bye, I guess. I guess I'll get going. Am I gonna be able to drive? Or is it gonna drive at me? Oh my god, I'm gonna be able to drive. Alright, let's do this. Whoa. Happy polymerization day. Cool. Oh my god. It's a convertible. Oh look at this little robot guy. Please Why fly so close? Your we wish you a very pleasant journey. That looks so weird. Kinda looks like a caterpillar. What? Yeah, you know, I'm not driving. Be a radio in here. The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 yeah, with I just came from in every city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. I'm really hoping this robot doesn't drop me, you know. We're pretty high up. That's more like it. Oh, nice. Oh, look at all that. Wait, so is that what I'm on right now? A giant flying, I guess, city? Whoa, cool. Nice song. I don't understand any, any word, but you know, nice song. I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. How are we going? Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell so me, bright. Is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. 
Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. My god, it's, it's so bright. The days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? <laughs> wow. Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Man, it's so weird how we're just in a car getting carried by a robot. Like, what's the whole point of having a car? Like, couldn't the robot just pick us up and bring us here or something? Wow. Are those birds? So, where exactly are we going? Wow. Oh, I can see! Uh oh. Better not be mounted somewhere here or around here. Oh, the music has changed. Can we like can we really not get out of the clouds already? Wait, is it raining? Water oh, it's because it went through the cloud. Audio oh, guide. Ooh. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. Wow, this place looks really nice. Oh, look at this view. Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. I knew this place does look you pretty can now nice. The operations look at of an automated plant there. performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. 100 orders per hour? Oh my gosh, we almost got hit by that. Uh, can I put the car down on you? I kind of want to go for a cruise. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center. Oh, is this is where we're going. Processing unit and oh, look at these ones. For this network node. Oh, I think those were the ones on the parade. We are currently flying but over Sunflower parade. Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Very cool, very cool. Oh, so be like a or something. All of facility 3826, Dark allowing clouds. personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. So I'm guessing that's what I'm gonna be using to like go around the we map. Are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland monument, wow. erected in 1949 to it's mark floating. the Soviet Union's what victory in, the world? in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov complex. The site where facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibelnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Wow, nice! Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We 
We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Alright, thank you, Robo Lady, for the tour. That was pretty nice. Oh my god. Uh, aren't they flying a little too close? What? Oh my gosh! Oh, wait, what about the robot? It's, uh, it's holding us up. Uh oh. Well, this is not gonna be good. Oh, thanks. Well, he's lit. I skipped the stairs. Oh, Robo Lady. You to the Vavilov complex. Oh, thank you, thank you. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. Oh my gosh, the what's going on here? Carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. I wrote by lady, I better watch out. Oh my gosh. That was really very rude of them. That was kind of rude. Oh gosh. All right, Robo Lady, uh, hang on, because we might fall. Oh my gosh! Hey, quit it! Oh my gosh! Oh, we're going up? Son of a bitch! Not again! Um, something tells me she's gonna start killing me now. Oh no, she might. It's fine. Oh, help me, comrade major! No, Robo Lady, I got you! I got you! No, oh no, we lost her like that. Uh, this is not gonna be good. 